There are thousands of amazing Minecraft maps out there, from puzzle maps to survival maps to minigame style maps to skyblock. There are just tons of them. I mean, thousands of amazing maps. And in this video, we're going to show you how to play these maps, how to get them in your Minecraft single player worlds and start playing on them because truthfully one of the best ways in my opinion to add some you know fun to minecraft is using custom maps so let's go ahead and jump on into it the first things first you're gonna need to download some minecraft maps now in the description below we have a link to this which is some of the you know minecraft maps we would recommend checking out Worth noting that pretty much any 1.20 based map is going to work in 1.20.6 without any issues. So we're going to go ahead and grab Greek City here just because it's pretty cool. We'll also go ahead and grab a parkour map because, well, I just like parkour maps. And we will obviously grab a skyblock map because, well, you, you might as well. If, if you're going to be, if you're going to be, you know, playing Minecraft custom maps, you got to grab like the most popular one, which is skyblock. So we have all these here. These are all on Curse Wars. You might also be downloading maps from Modern. That's another trusted source. But nevertheless, once we're here on Curse Wars, we can go to Files and download the map. Just click the three dots here and click Download File. Well, this is downloading how much from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below. The breakdown, the next way is ESUS SGH. And let's say you wanted to play one of these maps with your friends. Well, you can do that at Simple Game Hosting by adding the map to your Minecraft server. It's super simple and easy to do that. And it's also easy to add mods or mod packs to your server. We actually have over 150 one-click mod packs that you can install. Plus, if there's any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support there to help you out. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown .xyz sgh and start your Minecraft server the simple way. Nevertheless, our map here is now downloaded. We've got two more and the process is exactly the same. Go to files, download the 1.20 version of the map and click download file and repeat it one more time for skyblock. Again, this will work for any of the maps that you want. And if you're using modern to download maps, that's perfectly fine too, because that is another trusted source for Minecraft mods. But nevertheless, now that these are downloaded, we can go ahead and install them. And to do that, we want to move them to our desktop because we actually need to prep these before we can install them. So for these are on in my downloads folder for me, but for you, they might be wherever your downloads go. So maybe to your desktop, maybe to another folder. What do I mean by prep them? Well, they're zip files. As you can see, they have this, you know, zip icon on them here. You want to unzip all of these. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on them, click extract all, and then click extract. We're going to repeat this for all of these maps here. Right click, extract all, extract, and finish off by extracting skyblock. Now with all these extracted, we have three more folders on our desktop. One for each of these maps. And we can actually delete these zipped folders here because we don't need them, right? We just need these unzipped folders, but we're still not done. When we open up these folders, what we want to be looking for is a set of files and folders. Not like this. Keep going. If you just have like skyblock like this, go again until you see all of these files and folders here. Data, data packs, icon, all of that. It might not be all of these, but it probably is going to be some of them, right? For example, you might just have level dat and level old and data, not data packs or anything else. It just depends on the custom map, but you want to make sure that you have at least some of these. Then once you've found these files and folders, click back one level and drag this to your desktop. Now, what we want to do is as soon as we open these files, this is what we see, these folders and files here. So as soon as we open up this one, nope, not the case. We want to go into world. This is what we want. Drag and drop this back to the desktop. Delete this folder and then repeat it with parkour as well. It's not what we want. This is what we want. Click the back arrow, drag and drop that to the desktop, right like so. So now, as soon as we open any of these custom maps, we immediately see these files and folders. And this is what I'm talking about. They could be different. Data, level data, or on both of them. But, you know, you can see here, there's a lot more here than there is in this one even. So it's just different files and folders there, but you should have at least a few of those. Now we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, but don't play Minecraft. What we want to do is from the Minecraft launcher here, we want to go to the installations tab up here at the top. So as you can see, we have installations here. Now, once you're in installations, what you want to do is find the version of Minecraft that you're playing these custom worlds on. So in my case, it's going to be latest release, but you can even do this with a modded version of Minecraft. That's going to work just the same. Hover over this and click the folder icon to open up your Minecraft folder. In your Minecraft folder, you'll have a saves folder. This is where all of your single player worlds are located. So we can drag and drop 
these folders into our saves folder and now they're installed in Minecraft. So we can go ahead and play Minecraft and then once we're on the main menu, it's as easy as going to single player and finding these maps. You can see there's Skyblock, there's Parkour, and there's World. World is going to be the Greek city map here. And you know what? We'll go ahead and start with that one. So when you join in, you can definitely see you are in a Greek city. This is a beautiful, beautiful map. I would love to turn this into a survival map. You know, go ahead and go into survival and just, you know, survive in this area. Beautiful, amazing, amazing map. I can't stress that enough. And then we also have the other maps here that we will quickly check out. We have the parkour world. I'm horrible at parkour, um, so I'm not really even going to try, but uh, here it is, and I believe, yeah, we can go over here and actually, you know, go to our different parkour worlds and things like that, so amazing, amazing parkour setup. Right, here we go. Parkour is where we want to do and get started with it. I'm, I'm not good at parkour, so let's go ahead and uh, go to Skyblock, where I am actually a bit better at the game, so we can jump into Skyblock Classic here. If you do get this world and, like, this warning, that's okay. Just go ahead and click, I know what I'm doing, and it will launch you right on into it. If for whatever reason it did break, it's going to be pretty easy to fix because you can just reinstall the world. But um, as you can see here, what we want to do with Skyblock is click default, and it's going to go ahead and uh, get things going, right? This can take a minute, takes a long time to set up Skyblock, so um, yeah, I'm not going to go through that entire process right now. But at this point, you now know how to add worlds to Minecraft 1.20.6. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And be sure to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one. I am out. Peace.